Tonight's uh, Diamond and Denim. It's an event uh, for fundraiser for ALS Silent Auction. We're pleased to host it. We're proud that they picked us as a venue and we're trying to make it the best event possible, raise a lot of money for the, for the folks that really need it and to benefit the clinic most of all. My, uh, my stepdad, my mom's husband, actually died of Lou Gehrig's disease many years, a couple years ago. And uh, mom, mom went ahead and uh, I think she, she, rather than get let depression and get to her, she cho chose to do something to help others with ALS. And uh, finding that clinic, finding the great doctors that were willing to donate their time, nurses donate their time, and uh, you know, they take what the insurance offers, no one has to pay a dime. That's why it's so important that we raise money so we can we can compensate and give people the wheelchairs, the, the, the just the, the things they need, the answers things they need that no one really thinks about. One of, one of my best friends was afflicted with ALS back in the early 90s, Tony Buzo. Uh, one of the uh, very gifted athlete, baseball player, had a college scholarship, uh, struck him down in his prime. Uh, took him out when he was 26 years old, 20 years ago this year in, in July. Uh, so we got to know it up close and personal. My dad passed away nine years ago, and I think I started working with Nancy with the, the walk, you know, probably a couple years after that. We realized as a community that, uh, you know, we had to do something. And uh, at that point in time, we started a golf tournament uh, here in Fort Myers, and it's still going strong today. Once the clinic came, then, I, you know, I've been there since the beginning. We know how hard it is on the families and, and the victims themselves. and. Uh, Met Nancy Bailey uh, a few years back, and we got to, we got to talking and figuring, hey, what can we do a little bit different to help the people here in Southwest Florida? And with Lee Memorial's uh, foundation's help and Nancy Bailey, they've opened up a clinic, and we decided to, hey, we will partner up with those folks and see what we can do to help the to help them out. The clinic has given them some help and some hope, and there wasn't that when my dad was diagnosed. I owe it to my community, we owe it to our friends and, and, and the families, you know, this dreaded disease. I don't even know what to say. He was, he was the best father any daughter could ever, ever have. I miss him terribly. I just want, I just don't want anything to happen to this clinic. I want to keep this clinic around as long as it can. So I, I will do anything. That, it's real important to me. And the first time I saw Jeff, we were about 12 years old. I was in the swimming pool and he showed up from Ohio. It's 110 degrees outside. And here this guy walks in with sneakers on, knee-high socks, a tank top, and these short shorts. And I couldn't believe that I was actually seeing this guy for the first time. I'm going, oh my gosh, who are you and what are you doing here? You, he was so out of place in California, it was hilarious. Jeff and I through our 20s, he's a couple years younger than I was, uh, just best of friends. We did everything together. Some things not so good, some things great, right? And then, um, I get a phone call, and he goes, well, I've got ALS. <laughs> and I said, well, that's, you know, we'll fight this. I didn't know what it was. <laughs> I didn't know what, what it meant. So I got on the computer, and I call him back up, and I go, oh, my gosh. you got five years to live. He goes, yeah. And that's how I started to learn about ALS. We're gonna honor a lady tonight. I don't know her, but I know her story, uh, Mrs. Hughes. And she is one of those people that would come alongside people and help them. And that's what the clinic does. You know, her thing was, it's going to stop here. Never again will a person in this area with ALS ever again have to go through what Jeff went through. And that's her strength. 